Hey guys, I'm Dieter Melhorn. The water temperatures are in the 60s. It's springtime. It's time to go chasing flathead catfish. As always, flatheads love structure. They love debris, they love trees, they love rock piles, they love anything that holds fish and gives them a place to hide. So wherever you're fishing at, whether it be a lake or a river, if you can find some kind of underwater structure, it's a good place to set up for a flathead. Bam, got one going here. Bam, stuck him. Stuck him. Came running up the river trying to find some white perch to load up my bait tank with. Went up at the dam. They were not there. There was another guy up there, old timer. I asked him, I said, are the perch here? He looked at me, he said, I'll let you know in 10 minutes. He fished, never caught them. Looked at me, he said, I'm putting it on the trailer. They ain't here. Bye, grannies. There's a catfish here, though. You can hear it splash. <coughs> Good news is I'm catching some perch too. Nice blue. Got one in the boat. Look at that old head. It's got that old slope head. If y'all fish for blues enough, at least here in the south, get them with that slopey wonky head. It's a good fish there. Back alive. Now one of the things on the lakes that I fish, uh, we've got a mix of flatheads and blues, and those blues like those same areas. So a lot of times when I go set up in these areas, I've got just to get a chance of catching a big blue catfish as I do a flathead. All right, let's see if we can put a few perch in the boat. I use these for bait. I keep them in my bait tank at home. I'm just using some of these little traditional gold hooks. Just a little double hook rig I got. Putting some minnows on it. Minnows are the best thing. They do not have to be alive either. A little double hook rig, got some gold hooks. If they're down there, we'll know it quickly. Get my catfish bait back in the water right fast. I caught him on. Up oh, there's the perch on. Perch on, perch on. Juke. My catfish bait in. Boom, there he is. Like I said, I use these for bait. He's got a minute. Look at there. He got my minnow a minute ago. There's a minnow in his mouth. What did he purchase? Drop that back down. Better open up my live well here. You need room for him. That hit the bottom. Flip the bail, tighten it up. Let me get this one back in the water. So I want to caught my catfish on. Boom. There is no water moving right now in the river. Uh, there was one wheel turning. That's got just a little teeny bit of current going. Boom, got it. <clears throat> but uh, nothing major. Look at that, some small ones. Some small fries. Seen them on the sonar. Nope, there's one. Let's see if I can get two to hit. There's a couple of them down there. These things are scattered. They are not schooled up good. These things are making a run up the river to spawn. They spawn just like a striper. They make a springtime run. And the reason I mentioned the dam is because they usually come up in packs. I don't know if it's age class or what, but but it's like they're there. They may be there for a day or two, and then they're gone. Maybe another school that comes up through here, they're there for a day or two and they're gone. They don't all come at one time. So it's over a period of many days that this goes on. Poof, they're gone. It's like a little pack of them came through, caught them. But oh, we got a fish on behind us. Fish on behind us. I see lines going upstream back here. There he goes. He has buried that rod. We got an anchor off the front. 
Let's see what we can deal with here. I need to get to the other side of the boat to fight this fish. I'm gonna try bringing him back underneath the boat. Decent fish. Not a super monster. I'm able to control him. Trying to work him. He is all the way at the other side of the daggum boat though. Do a little horsey fight to this side. Alright, I got him coming. There we go. There we go. Back on this side of the planet. Flathead. There he goes, back down. Woohoo. That's why I anchored up where I'm anchored. I actually was looking for a flathead. He does not want to come in the boat. There we go. He does. He does not want to get his picture taken. Nice fish. It's a good fish right there. I can get his head here. Ah, oh, yeah. That's a good one. Good flathead right there. Nice one. Oh, there he is. Good flathead. Get him back alive. Well, one of the questions you hear over and over again about catching flathead catfish is what is the best bait? A lot of people swear by live bait. A lot of people like cut bait. I personally, I prefer cut bait. I still put out live bait, uh, but I like the fact that, especially when I'm fishing in current, a piece of cut bait is going to disseminate and spread out a lot more scent. And I don't hesitate to fish for flatheads around structure with cut bait. I put out some live baits too, but more often than not, my big flatheads have come on cut bait. Well, while I'm chasing flatheads, I'm never going to complain when I catch a good blue cat. He hit that and went that way with it. Good fish. Hooked up. Going live. Right back over my shoulder there. Trying to catch an old catfish. Nice one. Up toward the top. I'm not sure if he's a blue or a flathead. My money says blue just because he's rolling. Drag's good. 30 pound line, like a banjo string. One of the ancient mariner reels. I cast this one out too far. It's wrapping another line. Not good. Not good. Not good. In the net. That's a pig there. Good one. Good fish that long he is. Bam. 40 inches long. You tell everybody about me. All right? <laughs> 